Morgan here. So in today's video, I want to talk about long-term survival when it comes to food specifically. So when it comes to food as preppers, you know, we're storing food, we're storing our freeze dried or canned, you know, whatever it is that we're storing and you know, we're having it last however long we stored it for. So like, let's say you have six months worth of food stored and this is a long-term survival scenario and you have realized three months into the scenario that wow, things are not gonna get better and I only have three months worth of food left. What am I gonna do, right? Um, you can't continue to rely on that last three months worth of food because after that three months, you know, there's no more food. You know, sure, you could try to go scavenging, you know, the grocery stores, but other people are gonna be doing that as well, you know? And it depends on your whole group setting, your community setting, and all that, but still, even if your group, community, whatever, does not have enough food to last, you're gonna to have to do something. So what do you do? So if your food is running out, there's a few things that you can do to be proactive about the situation so that you're not just relying on your stored food anymore, but you're going out, you're finding food and water. You're going out and you're finding, you know, whatever you can, those wild edibles, you're hunting for small game, large game, whatever you can find, right? That's edible. Insects. I know a lot of people are like, ew, I don't want to do insects. Yes. Well, you know, in a survival situation, you want to eat whatever you can find. And insects, many insects are packed with great protein and, you know, just fry them up, put some salt on it. You're great. <laughs> uh, so finding food, that's a skill you want to learn now. And of course, having books and things for reference is going to be helpful as well. But knowing what to look for now is going to be really helpful um, when it comes time to actually doing it. Uh, you won't be just, you know, shooting in the dark. I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know how to hunt. I don't know how to do any of this, you know, snares, all that. It's going to be helpful. And then growing food. You know, I've talked about the pros and cons of gardening and I've never once said that gardening is bad. However, gardening takes time, okay? Um, there are seasonal things that you can grow and you have to understand what grows when and what grows where, okay? So growing a garden is absolutely a great idea, both indoor and out. There's a lot of good indoor stuff that you can do, a lot of outdoor stuff that you can do. Um, there's, uh, you know, livestock sprouting your own seeds. Um, you know, again, with the insects, you can grow your own insects. Like, uh, you can grow crickets, you know, start breeding them. You can breed, uh, worms, all sorts of things. So there's growing your own food. You know, um, if you, a garden is probably going to be the easiest for most people, you know, unless you already have the livestock, it's going to be difficult to acquire that probably difficult to acquire that um, in a grid down situation. Sprouting your own seeds, I've done a video about that. That's a really great resource. Of course, it's not going to supply all your nutrients, but it's a good resource uh, for some food, you know. Um, let's get right down to brass tacks. Your body needs food, period. So when we're talking about long-term survival, sure, we really wanna get all the nutrients that our body really needs, you know. Store the vitamins so that your body is getting those nutrients. Um, you know, vitamins can last a couple years, um, especially uh, Survival Guard. They last um, three years, which is really good for vitamins. So, you know, storing vitamins is going to be really good um, resource when you can't get the nutrients from food, right? So if you're only eating like, you know, fish and wild edibles, well, that's not enough um, nutrients for your body. So having that extra boost with um, the vitamins is really gonna help a lot. But despite all that, um, you know, knowing how to garden now, <laughs> you have to know how to garden now, you know, whether it's in containers, a bed, indoor, outdoor, it doesn't matter. Um, have reference, you know, books for reference guides um, to help you out. Um, but knowing how to garden now is gonna be really important. So right now you want to stock not just food, but actual base food. I've talked about this before, but you know, like salts, sugars, you know, flowers, flowers can go bad, you know, flour can go bad, but um, just if you store it the right way, it, and I think um, some companies have like flour stored properly or, you know, in mylar bags, things like that, it can be stored for a little bit longer. Um, you know, base things like that, honey, things that don't go bad, 
um, is going to be really essential um, for you to make things, you know, uh, create things, uh, make things not taste so bad, you know, put some honey on those insects, right? And so, you know, learning to make things from scratch. What can you make from scratch with uh, just water and flour? Hardtack. <laughs> I still have my hardtack from the uh, water and that I made from water and flour and uh, it's still good. I made that like many, many, many months ago. So long-term survival with food, okay, is doable and food and water, but we have to stagger it. If we only have three months of food left, right? We have to plan, okay, well, I need to start uh, growing my garden, you know, now, you know, and in the meantime, I can find food, you know, wild edibles, hunting, you know, whatever it is, you know, while still kind of relying on this three months worth of food, but also starting to rely on more of the food that you find or mixing in that food that you find with your three months worth of supplies, right? Um, you know, and once your garden starts getting going, you can, um, you know, start rotating the garden, you know, based on seasons, based on your area, indoor, outdoor, whatever it is. So that now you don't have just three months worth of food. You have three, you know, you could have three to six months worth of food because you're combining everything with your finding food, your growing food, you know, making things from scratch, you know, you know, you may have to rational a little bit. It just kind of depends on the situation, but um, there's lots of things that could be done when it comes to um, long-term survival with uh, food. So that's uh, my thoughts on that. I hope that that has all kind of made sense. Thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye.